Welcome to our channel. Today, we continue our journey through Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. If you missed the previous video on chapters 37, 38, and 39, be sure to check it out. Now, let's dive back into 19th century England and high society. You are listening to Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Chapter 40, The Visit to Pemberley, begins with Elizabeth, the gardeners, and Darcy taking a tour of Darcy's estate, Pemberley. Elizabeth is very impressed with the beautiful landscape, the extensive gardens, and the grand architecture. They meet with the housekeeper, who gives them a tour of the house inside. Elizabeth is impressed with the wealth and taste of Darcy's family. When they are in the library, Darcy unexpectedly enters the room. Elizabeth is shocked to see him and nervous about the reception she will receive. Darcy greets Elizabeth and the gardeners warmly and shows them around the library. He regrets that he was not there to welcome them when they arrived. After their tour, Darcy invites them to stay for tea and to meet his sister, Georgiana. Elizabeth is nervous about meeting Georgiana but is relieved that she is very kind and gracious. Darcy and Elizabeth continue to talk, and he takes the opportunity to clear up any misunderstandings between them during their previous conversations. The chapter ends with Elizabeth reflecting on the kindness and hospitality she has experienced at Pemberley and how much she has come to admire Darcy. She realizes that she is now more in love with him than ever. In Chapter 41, Elizabeth visits Pemberley, the estate of Mr. Darcy. Despite her previous negative opinions of Mr. Darcy, she is impressed by the grandeur and beauty of Pemberley. She also encounters Mr. Darcy's sister, Georgiana, who is sweet and gracious. The housekeeper, Mrs. Reynolds, provides a tour of the estate and speaks highly of Mr. Darcy's character, leading Elizabeth to reconsider her previous perceptions of him. While wandering through the gardens, Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy run into each other and have a cordial conversation, further softening Elizabeth's views of him. By the end of her visit to Pemberley, Elizabeth has a newfound appreciation for Mr. Darcy and realizes she may have misjudged him in the past. Thank you for joining us for this summary of Pride and Prejudice Chapters 40 and 41. Stay tuned for more twists and turns in this beloved classic. Don't forget to subscribe for updates, and if you need a copy of the book, check the link in the description. Get ready to fall in love with Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy all over again. See you in our next video.